Hey guys, hope you are doing well. It's Rashid Hashmi from Doctors Digital College. Welcome to Doctors Digital College. Today I will demonstrate you the working and the structure of light microscope. Light microscope is very extensively used in A-levels practicals. This is also used in FSE and general medical laboratories. And I hope that you have already uh, studied and what is the comparison of light microscope and electron microscope. So this is here light microscope and it is called light microscope because we are using visible light in this. Okay, this is here a power button. Okay, and if we have to on the light, this is here, I can on the light like this. This is, I can off the light. This is a specific tungsten bulb in light microscope and it has a specific half-life. So whenever you are working with the light microscope, you will keep it on and if you are not working, you will keep it off. This is also environmental friendly, means this is good for our earth. Okay, moreover, there is a dimmer here that or you could say this is the regulator that we can increase or decrease the intensity of light. Say for example, I have on the light now and by this I can in decrease the light and I can increase the intensity of the light. Okay, look at this, you can see that light intensity is being decreased here and now light intensity is being increased here by this button. This is here a dimmer. Now, for different uh, focusing, we need different amount of light. That's why we can change, we are using this uh, regulator of the light intensity to increase or decrease the light. Okay, now before to uh, start the working of this light microscope, let me tell you what are its different parts. First of all, this part is there, which is I can remove it. This is a removable part. While you are working, you need not to remove. This is basically to be removed by the elect, uh, technicians in the laboratory so that they can clean it. So this piece is called eyepiece. It has two eyepiece lenses. These are two eyepiece lenses and they are attached with this diopter. Look at this. This is the diopter. I can change its width or I can decrease its width. This is called diopter because it has two optics in it. This is one, this is two. That's why this microscope is also called binocular because we used to use both eyes while observing certain objects. So this is here binocular. Okay, and while you are um, observing something, you have to um, uh, adjust the width of this diopter according to the width of your face. Somebody have a broader face, others have less broader face, so you can change the width. Moreover, in this eyepiece, you have to maintain the height of the two lens. Right now, one lens is below the other lens. You can see that one lens, this lens is below the level of this lens. If the two lenses are not at one level, they will have different focusing of the same object and you will not be observe the things uh, properly by using both of your eyes. So first of all, you have to uh, adjust the height of the two lens. It is better if you can put it on a straight uh, surface like this and then you can make it like this or while observing the uh, object, you can adjust it that if you have exactly the same or the proper uh, view of your object because the eyesight of the two eyes can be different. So for one eye it might be needed slightly low or for the other eye it might be needed light high. So for example my eyesight is uh, 1.25 and 1.5. It is different for my two eyes. So I will have to adjust the height of this lens according to my both eyes. Okay. And this is fixed over here. What you are supposed to do that you should be able to put it here and you should just unscrew it lightly like this and you can twist it like this holding it very gently. So you can move it towards your eyes like this. Okay. Or if you have 
you have been given microscope in this form while you want to use it in this in this direction say for example if you want to if you want to observe your object in this direction you can change your eyepiece like this okay so this is the way now i will keep it in this direction like this and then next is the system of lenses this is here the system of stage lenses these are four stage lenses present here okay and they are all of different magnifications i will tell you about the magnification later on but first of all let me tell you what are these parts the red it is of lowest magnification this is here red line over here this is yellow this is of higher magnification this length is more and its magnification is 10x then it is here blue this is 40x this length of this 40x is even bigger than that one yellow and the largest one is this white and this is of 100x magnification okay magnification is proportional over here the length of this lens smaller the length lesser the magnification bigger the length more is the magnification so red is of 4x yellow is of 10x blue is of 40x and this white is of 100x you are not supposed to use this white one while in a levels practicals because this is written here oil this is written here oil because this lens can be used only with the oil immersion because when we will be observing something with such a big magnification resolution will become less so we will put a little amount of clove oil on your object and then you can use so usually this is not recommended or it is not asked in your practicals to use 100x magnification okay similarly there is a magnification of your eyepiece lenses it is here if you can see if uh, you can focus it this is here 10x and this lens is also 10x so i am using right now 10x at these lenses are eyepiece lenses are removable you can use 15x you can use 20x you can use 4 4x so four sets are usually four sets are available you can use so four sets of eyepiece lenses and four sets of objective lenses total 16 different magnifications can be achieved by this light microscope the total magnification of your object will be the magnification given by eyepiece lens and the magnification given by uh, object lens and the eyepiece lens say for example i am using 10x eyepiece lens and i am using this 10x of objective lens right now i am using this 10x so the total magnification of my object will be 10 into 10 100x if i am using 4x here and 10x here the total magnification will be 10 into 4 40x or if I am using this one, this is 40 and this is 10. 40 into 10, 400x magnification will be there. Okay, so this is all about objective lens and the eyepiece lens. Now, you should be careful about it while changing these objective lenses that you have to hold it from this rubber piece like this and you will rotate it like this and then there will be a click sound like this this is a click sound and then this lens is fixed at its proper place if there is no click sound like this i'm uh, using it you know, listen it carefully this is click sound so then at that time this objective lens is fixed in mm, the direction of this eyepiece lens okay now the third most important part of this light microscope is your stage this is the stage and in this case in this binocular microscope we can change the position of stage look at this this is the knob this is present on both the sides you can change the position of stage with this one okay 
like this it is moving up like this it is moving down by changing the position of this stage you are actually changing the position of your object and the objective lens this is objective lens and it will be here object look at this this is the slide and i am putting here on the stage like this and i will see that my object is exactly beneath the objective lens now i can change the focus by changing the position of stage there are some microscope whereby stage is fixed and this portion of the microscope it can be moved up or down the whole of this tube can move down or up but whatever it is whether the stage is moving or this part is moving you are changing the distance between your objective lens and the object okay so that you can change the focus okay now the thing is that you can change the position of the stage by two ways this is the major knob which is called coarse focusing you can see i am moving it uh, clockwise and this is moving down i am moving it anti clockwise and the stage is moving up but the stage can also be moved by this smaller knob this is the smaller knob i am moving it the stage is moving but you cannot observe right now because the movement of stage is less than in millimeters okay very slightly stage is moving down or stage is moving up so this knob is called fine focusing this knob is called coarse focusing this knob is called fine focusing while you will move one knob on one side it will be moving on both the sides look at this this is here knob on both the sides so you can use right hand or you can use left hand for the movement of this knob okay now once you have focused your object then there is a lock over here this is called lock look at this this is here lock once you have uh, focused your object you will lock up your stage means like this if you will move it tightly upward now your stage is locked what is meant by the lock up of the stage it means that your stage now can move down look at this it is moving down but it cannot move up up a specific level where you have fixed it so for example if you have focused your object and while you are doing your drawing somehow or the other or some of your class fellow or somebody have lowered this stage like this so when you will observe you will say oh my object is out of the focus now what will you do you have locked it up you will quickly move the stage upward and this stage will come to the same position okay so this is the benefit of using your lock now for this is all about the magnification and now next we will go for the resolution of your this object okay before to go for the resolution of the object i want to tell that uh, in a levels practicals the slides used these are actually your actual exam slides if you can see it is written here cambridge international examination and this is slide n1 june 2013 970034 this is the name of the exam when when this slide was used so these slides are actually purchased from the british council and these are very expensive one so you should take care that they are not broken down so you will use a specific method of focusing what is the routine method of focusing it is that first you have put your slide over here you will move your stage right left or backward forth forward or backward like this and you will fix your object exactly beneath this objective lens okay now you will switch on the light light is switch on okay and now the stage should be at lowest position i have moved i have moved this stage the lowest position now you will be observing it through binocular like this i am now right now observing and you will move one or both of your hands 
adjust this diopter according to your eyes. Some people might be using only one eye. They are more comfortable while using one eye. The other people might be using both the eyes. Okay, whatever it is the case with you, then you will be observing here and you will move your stage slightly up. Okay, if it is locked, remove its lock first of all. Right now my stage is locked and I have unlocked the stage. Now it will be moving up and I am slightly moving up and up and up and up. It is... And a time has come just now when the stage was moving up that some dust particles they were observable. It means that something on the slide can be seen now. You may not be able to observe your object at first. You might be able to observe certain uh, suit particles or certain dust particles but worry you not that if even dust particles are observable means your object, the actual object will also be observable. Stop your stage moving more up here and then move your stage right, left or backward or forward. So right now I have seen some of the dust particles and now I am moving my stage right or left. Now I can see this is here my object. So you will have to move very slightly this stage while some dust is observable. Adjust the position of your object and then slightly move it. Now you will be able to see. Now lock up your stage and one thing more is that some people have different eyesight than the other people then you will have to change the fine focus for more clarity of the image you will adjust your fine focus if the same microscope is being used by two people as it is done in the british council examination that uh, there is the sharing of one microscope by two candidates so the two candidates may have different eyesights so you will adjust your fine focusing with this smaller knob Okay, now it is uh, focused. If the object is focused with one uh, stage lens, it is focused for all the stage lenses. Say for example, I can see with this yellow object lens. Now if I will change the yellow object lens with the red object lens of four magnification, my object will remain focused. Yes, I can see right now that my object is still focused. Or even if I will change it to blue, that my object is still focused, by its, but its resolution is now very low. Now you will have to adjust the resolution of your object. Okay. So if I am adjusting the resolution by the smaller knob like this. And now it is mean every cell of my object is now observable. I will show you uh, through the camera that what is the image of this. Okay, but you know that when you are using the lens, uh, objective lens of high magnification means we are using here 40x. You can see the objective lens is just touching your slide. If you are using uh, 4x, there is a big distance between your object and the lens. If you are using uh, 10x, the distance has decreased between the object and the end of your objective lens the distance has decreased and if you will be using uh, 40x the distance is minimum now look at this if you are observing from here and you are moving your stage up you are not directly observing your uh, slide you are observing through your eyepiece lenses now unintentionally or means uh, because of the lack of practice your stage will move more up and this objective lens will hit the slide and the slide will be broken down tick so there is the loss of this slide 
So the simplest and the shortest method of the magnification of different objects is that put your slide over here. Okay, lower your stage like this at the lowest position, adjust the position of your object that if the light is on, you can see that a very small object is there in the center. Okay, now while directly observing your slide, go on moving the stage upward, upward and upward and so that it is just about to touch your objective lens. Keep it in mind. I'm doing this while I'm using highest magnification where the stage lens will be closest to your object. So I have moved here. Now I will quickly change my objective lens. I have changed to 4x that is red. And now when I will observe it, my object is uh, focused. Okay, this is the shortest way to locate your object and to focus your object. I'm not saying that it is 100% focused, but it is 80 to 90% focused. You just need to fine focus your object. I mean to say adjust the minimum distance between the largest magnification and your object like this. I'm doing it once again that I have maintained this minimum distance between my uh, objective lens of the largest magnification and this slide by directly observing it and then I have changed the magnification whatever I want to use right this is let it be 4x let it be this one 10x or whatever and then when you will observe through your eyepiece lens you will your object will be focused you may be uh, needed that you just to change the position to locate your object but it is focused okay so this is all about the focusing of your eyepiece when you will be doing practice repeatedly then you will be an expert of it you will be having hands good at doing the focusing very quickly okay now the next uh, part of the working of this uh, light microscope is its resolution now we can uh, use different resolutions for that purpose we will have to go uh, below this stage I'm for the time being I'm removing this slide okay and now if you will go to the lower side of the stage this is one thing I am removing it like this this is here I have moved it like this this is actually a UV filter. I am taking it out slightly. It is just placed here. This is a blue color UV filter. These UV filters are gray, yellow, uh, green and blue. Four, usually four different UV filters are there. Because in this light, there are some UV rays. And when you are directly observing, this light is going into your eye and it is hitting your retina and the UV rays are mutagenic. They can cause mutation, they can cause cancer, they can damage your uh, retina. So that's why you should be using this UV filter over here. Now, which color of the UV filter should be used? Okay, there are different colors and I have taken here the blue. If you observe the light spectrum of the white light, violet indigo blue green yellow orange red the blue is having lowest wavelength and lower the wavelength of the light more will be the resolution achieved so use uh, using blue uv filter will give you high resolution as compared to using gray yellow or green uv filter okay now this is here Another thing is, if I am removing it for the time being, if I am keeping it here, this is here uh, aperture of the light. Here I am putting my finger, this is here aperture. And this aperture can be changed by this knob. This is here a small knob and I can change the aperture. If you can uh, observe from here, this is the aperture being changed. Say for example, if I am putting my finger over here, 
that this is very small aperture. This is here smallest aperture. This is here largest aperture. Means the aperture is moving like this. This is just like the pupil of your eye. That your pup uh, the pupil of your eye can be increased or decreased by the muscles of the iris. So is here this uh, aperture can be broadened or it can be shortened. Usually at low magnification we need to use broader aperture and at high magnification we need to decrease the aperture. At smaller aperture for high magnification we can achieve good resolution because lens abrasion is controlled by decreasing the aperture of lenses. You might have studied it in your physics classes. Okay. One thing more is you can change the position of your light filter. This is your light filter. You can see that I am moving it down. This is the knob by which I can move it downward and I can move it upward like this. Okay. This can be brought just close to your object or it can be lowered like this. I am lowering it. Okay. Now, this is what you will adjust for your eyes for the resolution. For different magnifications, the position of this eye, uh, light filter should be different. Say, for example, if you are observing something at high magnification, the high resolution can be achieved if you will put the filter just near to your object. And if you are observing something at low magnification, you can have your uh, light filter at lower position. So at high position, at high magnification, your light filter should be near to your object. Okay. So one thing I have told you that these are two knobs. This can move the stage uh, backward and forward like this. This knob can move the stage right and left mean your object here by this knob just this uh, object is being moved here like this this part is taking the object this clip is having object with it and this way the whole stage will be moving forward and backward this this these two knobs are actually used for the location of your object just exactly beneath your uh, objective lens okay and this is here power cable and it should be fixed. This is the job of your uh, lab technician that he or she will give, uh, give you adjusted power cable and you should be take care of it because this is high voltage electricity being used. The same electricity which is the, uh, being used in your laboratory or household things. So you should be careful about it. Okay. And um, there is I hope that there is nothing more and for the cleaning of this uh, light microscope this is the job once again this is the job of your lab technician these eyepiece lenses and the stage lenses or objective lenses they can be removed they can be cleaned one thing which you need to know is you should be able to take it out you should be able to open it and you should be able to put your eyepiece graticule the small micrometer for the measurement of the cell so you will come across how we use this light microscope for the measurement of actual size of cells and the tissues by the use of stage mic uh, stage micrometer and eyepiece graticule so in the next lesson i will tell you that how do we do uh, the measurements of the cells I hope that uh, this is clear to you that what is the working of this light microscope when you will do the practice you will have uh, hands good at using it and thank you for watching this video and I hope you will like to subscribe our channel Doctors Digital College and you will get some more informations about biology and chemistry. Thank you.